hello everyone so welcome back to another tutorial and today i'm gonna quickly show you how to change the dns settings of any domain connected to your google domains account or manage dns settings whatever you want to say it um, so first thing you have to do is log into your google domains dashboard and to do so it's really simple just go to this uh, url domains.google.com slash registrar and here you will see a list of all the domains connected to your google domains account now select the domains for which you want to change the DNS settings and then click on this manage button here. So now this will take you to the domain setting page and from here uh, on the left side by you will be able to see this DNS option or here you will also see edit DNS settings option. So you can click on any of the option. So now this will open the DNS settings page for this domain. And right now you can see I'm using custom name servers of Namecheap, which is my hosting provider. So most likely if you're using a simple hosting, a simple WordPress website or using um, using a using your custom domain name servers will be the right method to do it will be the easier method actually the limitation with this is you will not be able to use services like google workspace or if you have a shopify website kind of then you want your domain to point to your shopify website so you will have to use the google domain name servers option okay so if you are using google custom name servers all the settings uh, on the rest of the settings on this page will basically get disabled and uh, any changes you make will uh, actually do not will not have any effect um, because your dns uh, is actually managed by your hosting company so you will have to update uh, any custom changes in the interface your hosting company provides okay so now let's get back to the topic to today's topic and let's learn how to manage the dns settings with google domains so first thing you have to do is select this option first option use the google domain name servers okay so i will click on save here okay you can see the message changes to smarthelpguides.com are saved but uh, this will take like 48 hours to take take effect so usually it it, it is like two to four hours so now let's scroll down and all the settings on this page are now active so the first option is this dns security okay so it's like not essential so i will just um i will explain it later and um, the second option is registered host um you can also ignore this option right now it is not super important and um, you can see the message here that um, it looks like we have changed the name servers so all settings um, and synthetic records are currently disabled to enable the settings you need to restore okay so we have already changed but um, it is not showing the but it is still showing that we are using custom name server so let's refresh this page okay so once you refresh this page it should show you that now we are using google's custom name servers um, okay so you can see that uh, warning message is gone now okay so now let's focus on this options okay uh, the first is a synthetic record so it is important if you want to use like google workspace um, you can directly enable that option or email forwarding feature which i explained in my previous video um, with custom google name servers it, all you have to do is just simply click on it and email forwarding gets enabled by default as all the mx records required will be automatically added by google okay and if you want to use google workspace all you have to do is select this option here and then click on add so it google will automatically add the required records to your uh, dns okay so um, domain dns so or if you want to use subdomain forward you can also do it let's say you want to uh, create a subdomain which you want to redirect to a different url let's say you want to create a page like affiliate okay uh, affiliate dot smarthelpguys.com and i want it to be redirect to a different page like my facebook page or something okay so i can just add this record here and now whenever someone will click on this um go to the subdomain affiliates dot smarthelpguys.com it will automatically redirect them to this page okay so now you can select what kind of redirect you want to it to uh, permanent 301 or temporary 302 
Um, it is not really essential. You can select either. Uh, temporary redirect basically depends on the kind of use. If you want uh, that redirect to be permanent, you can select 301. I'll select 302. Okay, and then just simply click on add here. So, but uh, the changes will take some hour to take effect. So I cannot just show you right now that it is working. Okay. And if you want to delete or edit, you can also do this, uh, do the same from the options uh, visible here. So now let's scroll down and see. This is the most important part, custom resource record. So these records are the essential records and without these proper records in this, um, in this section, your website will not work and um, your, you will see a blank page or a error page okay so it's really important to configure this settings properly and to do so um, basically this uh, dns records tell uh, whenever someone types uh, your website name like my website is smarthelpcats.com so in the browser when we type smarthelpcats.com um, the dns settings will tell that okay this uh, okay this website is hosted on this server and this is the IP which is uh, which we input here. Okay, so I will explain the records to you. And the most important two most important records are a record, uh, type a record, and type c name record. So type a record is basically the direct IP address of your server. So to do add, you all you have to do is simply add the rate, put here, select the record type, and put a here. In time, you can just leave it blank or uh, depending on settings, um, you can see Google is, uh, let's put a short record here. So for minute type just five minute and here put the IP address and you can have only one sub uh, A record for your main root domain, okay? So I cannot just, um, I already have an A record so I cannot create another record. So if I try to add another record, you will see I will get an error. Okay, you can see the record is already in use. But um, if I want to create a, a record for a subdomain, then I can do it. For example, I want to create a, I want my subdomain shop dot, um, this shop subdomain to point to my Shopify website. Okay, so what I will do is um, shop a record and now i can put the ip address so for adding shopify records you will have to um, add a record like this and then put here add okay so i can put a record here this is how a records work basically uh, a records are direct ip address okay and let's say you want a subdomain to point to the same website where your main root website is hosted Okay, so let's say I want my the most popular and common subdomain is www. Okay, so w to add uh, so if someone is visiting my website www.smarthelpcats.com, um, I want him to the point to the same server where my root website is located. Okay, so you can see here there is a www. record and in the type c name and here. Um, it points to the smarthelpcats.com. So, but let's say um, I want to create another record. You can see here I have added www.shop.smarthelpcats.com and the C name. Uh, it's a C name record type and it is pointing to shop.myshopify.com. Okay, so whenever someone types shop.smarthelpcats.com, it will point them to this IP address. When someone types www.shop.smarthelpcats.com, it will point them to this CNAME record. Okay, shop.myshopify.com. So basically, this is a requirement by Shopify to point a domain to uh, if you want your domain to point to the store. So this is how you have to add. You will have to add two records. First is one A record. You can see here point your root domain a record to this and point your subdomain c, c name record to this okay so i will uh, make it simple and i will tell you which are the essential records if you want your um, domain to point your shopify store so for that um, i will delete all the records and again add
okay so now let's um i want my domain smarthealthcare.com to point to my shopify store so according to shopify i will have to point my root uh root domain say record to this ip address so i will just copy it here and go to google domains add at the rate for root domain um type uh, in the record type select a and here select five minutes the time to live and then paste the ip address here and then click on add okay and we need another record to point on uh, the www dot subdomain to point to this uh so i will here put uh, www dot c name record type five minutes and in domain i will put it this record here as required by shopify okay so we have uh, now my domain will start pointing to my shopify store but this these changes as you can see from the notice here will take some hours to take effect okay so now um a more records type so you can see another very uh, common record type is text record so this is required for verification so for example i have my uh, google webmaster i want to add this website to my google webmaster but by default if you are using google domains you automatically get uh, verified but let's say i'm used not using so i'm just showing you let's say for anyone else uh, they will have to verify it like this okay so they will have to add this record okay so i will just copy this record here you can see here it is showing that sign into your domain provider copy the text record and add it to your dns configuration so i will copy the text record here and i will go here and put at the rate and in the text i will put the value here and then add this okay so you can see here this uh, record has also been added and now google will able will be able to uh, verify this okay but that uh, by completing the step google will be able to know that okay i really own this domain and connect it to my account okay so basically this is an example of how to use it um, how to use this feature and i hope you found this useful it may be a little confusing at first but it's really simple the most common records are a and uh, another is c name and then if you want to add for verification you can add text records and for shopify i have shown you how to do it this is basically the configuration you need to point your domain to a shopify store and similarly for a normal website you can um, replace this ip address with your website hosting server and to get to know how which ip you should point to you check the welcome email or emails you got from your hosting provider they will be um, they must have mentioned the ip address of your hosting uh, hosting server or ask your hosting company by support email you know to know that you want to add uh, this record and you need to know the ip so they will tell you and uh, in the www dot just um, do not put shop dot my shop if i put your root domain name smart help guides here you can put anything uh, put your root domain name here okay so now uh, my website main website domain will point to this ip and the subdomain will point to i will tell that okay where it is, it is located at the same place where my main website is located so that's it for this video and if you have any question or if you are not able to understand anything please post in the comments and i will try to help you so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video